It's the SA Sports Show with Rob Popplestone filling in for Phil Smythe, who's on holiday again with KG, one of the great names in SA Sports. Actually, I've got you're, to say, you're carrying me today. I, 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 I feel great about this. Oh, fantastic. Well, you know what? Our next what? segment is about bowls, right? Lawn bowls. Now, when you think about lawn bowls, you think about blokes... Don't start. ...about... <laughs> An age between me and you, <laughs> somewhere in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you won't believe, as I introduce our next guests, Nicole Carey and also Manny Northcott, uh, both for Bowls SA. Look what Bowls SA looks like now. Young. <laughs> Those have, were the days. Things have changed, Poppy. <laughs> they have too. <laughs> hey, Matt, Nicole, how are you going? Hey, I'm Great, thanks. Yeah, you know, over the journey, uh, actually, on the SA Sports Show, we've spoken about the amount of young people getting involved because of the fun you can have uh, playing lawn bowls, but. You guys probably are a nice reflection of just what the sport embraces these days. Yeah, that's right. There's definitely a lot of younger people coming through these days. Matt's been a long time player um, mm. since little one. I've, yeah. I've been playing social bowls lately. Great yeah. fun with my mates, brought them all down um, to the club. And yeah, you're definitely seeing a lot of new young players coming through. So. Can I ask you, why is that? Because it, with, with all due respect, it was in the years gone by regarded as a older person's activity, sport if you like. Why are, why are more young people now, which is great, getting involved? I think it's just that general perception that they're, they're changing the wheel. It, it can be a fun day out, there can be music yeah. um, music pumping, there can be um, fun activities, there's food, there's drink. It's just that, that social atmosphere where all ages can come together and you know have a great time. It's just that real acceptance. Yeah, and I don't reckon there's been one young person I've spoken to who wasn't first introduced to it. Yeah. By their parents. Yes. Now I don't even know, Matt, but was it your parents that played? Yeah, and you? Oh, yep, Dad brought me into it. Yep. <laughs> but you know what? You, you go along there. It's yeah. a fun atmosphere for the kids. It's a great night. Yeah, it's, oh. it, it's safe for the kids. Yeah. The parents can keep a close yeah. eye on them. Before you know it, the kids want to be part of it. At what age did you start bowling? I Matt? started at ten. So as, ten. Yeah, Jeez, as you as took your time. <laughs> I, I actually had the nickname the kid for about six years. I've outgrown that now. I'm a veteran. So <laughs> I'm 23 years old. So I'm one of the older guys. When did you start, Nicole? What age? Um, I was 16. So 16. I had my okay. first bowl at 16. So what, what got you to, to become a, a lawn bowler at, at, at 16 years of age? Because normally 16 year old young ladies are doing other activities. Yep, so we actually did a, um, a part of our year 12 sport. So mm. it oh, was, because yeah. okay. it's um, so, you've got your diversity, you can, both genders can play. Um, we did it as a yeah, year 12 sport, had a role, and then I actually um, did a traineeship after school and continued playing through social bowls and um, back here and still playing down at Henley, so it's good. You know, yeah. a lot of uh, businesses <coughs> these days, because we've, I've been uh, introduced to it myself, is, and you made mention of the music. I mean, it's not, Lawn Bowls, if you haven't been to Lawn Bowls for a long time, you probably should do yourself a favour mm. and get down and have a peek, because on the right night, you, you probably wouldn't believe it's a Lawn Bowls venue, because you've got a DJ playing, <laughs> People having a, a couple wine. of quite, yeah, yeah, a wine or a, you know a cold drink on a warm day, yeah. um, and it's a great you know as much as it's great uh, competition, mm. it's a it, it's a great community feel, it's no a great doubt. social event. Yeah. It's one of those versatile sports. We can provide all the there's catering as well, there's food, there's drink and music. It's just yeah, great to get out there and provide all those different facilities for everyone. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot of those social bowlers actually bring it back to their work and organisation, family, friends, and they're going back and um, they're having Christmas shows there, family shows, so it's, it's a great venue for people to go down and, yeah, host their venues. Yeah, um, and you know, there's a lot of competition, though, for juniors to get involved. It doesn't matter what sport you're playing, cricket or football or soccer, hmm. tennis, whatever it is, hmm. they all are desperate to get their hands on these kids yep. as they choose their sports. Yep. Lawn bowls though is one of those ones that actually can be played in conjunction with another Correct. sport in a lot of ways. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yeah, so you don't have to be a committed club member, you don't have to play every single Saturday. There's lots of different events that um, Bowls SA puts on, things like night hours, the Get Bowled Over program and things like that where they can just rock up for however many sessions they choose to come along to, have an experience of the sport and not have to have that commitment of every week Well, we'll take us through a couple of those. Yeah. Explain night, night hours and get bowled over. Have a little, little yeah. swing on yeah. block on yeah. the green there. Night hours is probably one of the most popular ones it in is. South Australia. Um, yeah. it's probably most clubs would have a night hours program, so it's just a, a social night, night hours at night, obviously, where um, clubs just get three mates together, or it's usually four, so get three mates together, come on down, um, play bowls in a structured sort of competition for a couple of hours, um, usually the barbecue, there's bowls there provided. It's just about coming along and experiencing the sport rather than having that commitment of having to play every single week. It's just a great way to start out and get involved with it. And how hard do you work getting younger people? Like, you, do you go to the country areas to uh, to uh, have sessions and so forth? Yeah, yeah, we are constantly promoting it throughout the state. Um, we've got 
part of the as well as the night as the get bold over program yep. we're trying to run um these programs in every we call them regions around the state so that's every sort of country area yeah. um where we've got coordinators set up and they have sort of these session plans where it runs identically throughout the state so juniors from every region sort of getting that same feel of the sport and you know really getting involved so it's fantastic i can recall popping in the colvin uh, matt uh years ago when lawn bowlers only wore white clothes yeah. and suddenly they, they went from white clothes to colour clothing. The funeral that that caused, <laughs> fair dink, it was yeah. unbelievable. Now it's all Exactly. Now it's all razzmatazz and it's mm. great. It's full of hype and activities. <laughs> how, how do, you know, the, the, one of the things though, um, you, you see in whatever industry, sport, the business, how do the uh, more established people welcome the young brigade coming through because I guess that's one of the hurdles that a lot of businesses have. Well Nicole and Matt would have experienced that. How were you received by, by the early yeah, I bowlers? Guess it, you get a lot of variation obviously yeah. every human's different, every club's <laughs> different that you yeah. come across. Um, as far as my experience is concerned I couldn't, um, couldn't have had it any better. Uh, everyone that I've been involved with I started at the Balaclava Bowling Club in the country. Yeah but you're a veteran at 16. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. right. Yeah, right. I was, but yeah when I started out everyone was very accepting of, of juniors and a lot of clubs are generally promoting that sport because they know that's the future of their club. Um, they get these juniors in early and they can be members for 40, 50 years. They don't have to stop for any reason. So and I think that's the beauty of lawn bowls. You do see it from a young age. You do see these pathways through from grassroots sports all the way up to elite, yeah. which is Matt is an example of that. Starting at a young age, you do see them. And there's a lot of people in the club that do foster these mm -hmm. players mm -hmm. and love to see them succeed. And we all do. So I think it's just the culture of bowls clubs is really great. What's the depth? like in, in, in the young lady brigade and people of your age Nicole what's the depth like of, of, of lawn bowls strong yeah it is quite strong um, and there's quite a good um, bond and relationship sort of built so yep. I know there's quite um, with the state team for example they're a, a big close-knit group and they they not only just play bowls together but they've grown up together um, and now they're social outings they're bringing their friends in yep. so yeah it's really great I love it when, when the the person bowls and follows the bowl down. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. going this way and yeah. he's going that way. Guilty, mate. Guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Guilty. Yeah. Yeah. KG's always got the bias on the wrong yeah. side. Wrong side. Don't worry. Oh. Uh, you know, when people love a game, and it might be football or soccer or whatever it might be, but they're not able to play, they, they choose to <coughs> officiate or coach or whatever it might be. Bowls is a game that everyone can play, but I'm just guessing that you're still wanting people to get involved in coaching and or officiating where where it's possible yeah, absolutely bowls another sport you can't run it without umpires or coaches sure. or volunteers volunteers especially um there's always roles where people within clubs it might not happen to be a player there's yeah, you know organizing tournaments and things like that where it, we rely heavily on our volunteers we provide the, the platform for all members and or it doesn't have to be members for coaching courses and yeah. officiating courses where they can yeah they can sit on the sidelines and watch the game and still be involved with the club um, to, to learn these skills that they can bring to the table on game day. So do you get many you got plenty of numbers or are you always after more always I guess? after oh, more I think yeah. Yeah. officiating is pretty popular throughout the state we will coaching is probably one of those ones where you more the players do it rather than the outsiders. Sure. So it's, if you could get an independent coach that could do it without having to play, that'd be fantastic. So we're always, we're always after more, but it is quite well supported, our program. So. so as a development officer, you're pretty pleased in the way the sport's growing within the state. As a marketing, uh, in marketing of Bowls SA, do you feel as though going forward, it's well placed to, to take another step. Where do you see it growing? I think it is, like you said, it has changed from that old person sport now yeah. to this yeah. young, vibrant, fun sport. So it is quite good to market and it is attracting new, younger people coming through. So I think we are on the rise and it's going to start getting okay, become really Okay, so this is, this is a tough question. Be yeah. brutally honest. Don't make it too hard, Pop. No, 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 be brutally honest. Don't worry about the feelings of KG and myself. <laughs> Many years ago, if a young person come to the bowls, they would sort of be friend one upon. by the oldest. I want to know now whether a couple of oldies turned up. <laughs> whether the young, whether the youngies would actually say it's okay. Yeah, no, exactly. If I, if I turn up and I don't, but if I turn up at say HQ or something like that, the youngies go, well, "Have a look at this." <laughs> <laughs> never, not you there. No. <laughs> when I walk in the Henley Beast, go the lawn bowls. They look at me and say, yeah, oh, dude. "The old blokes in, they're okay." Absolutely, we. I know we put a lot of our resources into attracting juniors and that's sort of turning that wheel of sport where we love our all-age demographic and the, the fact that you can play at 
80 through to 8. It's, it's fantastic. We'll, we'll never discourage any member that comes through the and gate. We, yeah. we have actually seen a few times where you have a grandchild, the parent and the grandfather great, playing all in one team. How good is that? It's fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. the diversity is great. Uh, all right, we've had a lot of rain this week, which always affects uh, bowls as we close up shop. So going forward, uh, you've got all weather, the greens, I guess. There is a bit of a rush on to sort of build undercover facilities at the wow, moment. Okay. Uh, oh. Some clubs are sort of starting to get the, get the grants available to do that. I think there was one recently built at Kapunda. Okay. So they, it can become a year-round Put a roof on. Yeah, roof, yep. roof over the green. So well, there you go. Yeah. So there is um, sort of things like that. There's one at Wallaroo as well. I think they're pushing for one in Adelaide as well. So, um, yeah, it's going to become an all-year-round sport where you can continue to play these um, night hours and get bowled over programs throughout well, winter. Well, well, we, we, we should start pushing for Henley B to get, to yeah. get some cover. Yeah. And, and, and we want a retractable roof. <laughs> well, exactly right. We don't want a permanent one. <laughs> well, pants are coming up in October and we drove past a few greens today underwater, so... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good time to ask one. Hey, thanks yeah. for coming in. Fantastic. Thanks, well thanks done. for having us. Well, All the best. Nick there you and go. Matt. The future of Bowls SA in the hands of oh. some enthusiastic, young, vibrant, good-looking people. T We've had our day. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> We've had our day. No, actually, Barry Robin, one of the greatest players yeah. ever played here, he's mad in the lawn bowls. Yeah. Loves it. A lot of sportsmen uh, follow on. They love the competition, yeah. love the social atmosphere you get from Bowls SA, thanks to our guests. We'll have loads more sport on Bowls, oh, not on Bowls, we've done that, but on the SA Sports Show shortly.